Mount Panorama, the road racing circuit set in the foothills near the city of Bathurst. Here at the Easter meeting, cars and drivers are ready for the Bathurst 100. John Layton is first on the grid with the ex-Lukey Cooper Climax. Behind him, the cars come out to take up their positions. Queenslander Glyn Scott precedes Bill Reynolds in the superannuated Orlando MG. Austin Miller and his fast Cooper Climax leads crack Victorian Bib Stillwell in car six and Noel Hall in 71. Popular favourite Alec Mildren will set a blistering pace while Happy Jack Myers will play his consistent waiting game behind the strong lineup of high speed cars. Another Cooper driver, Bill Patterson, is calm and collected before the start and Glyn Scott smiles to ease the tension of pre race excitement. Barry Collison awaits the start. Mechanics make a hurried last minute checkup. Drivers bring their roaring motors to life with only three minutes to go. Timekeepers are ready, the two minute sign. Around the course, thousands of spectators crowd every vantage point as they await the fall of the starter's flag. Time passes quickly. Now, the start 26 laps, 100 miles. Round Hill Corner, along Mountain Strait, up to the cutting. Alec Mildren leads Bib Stillwell and Austin Miller. A gap to Arnold Glass and Bill Patterson. Noel Hall is sixth, followed by Glyn Scott, John Roxburgh and Jack Myers. Ross Dalton in the C-Type Jaguar moves to the top of the cutting in front of John Layton, who heads the stream of slower cars. The leaders are in the S's, the twisting series of curving bends before the steep descent to the mile-long Conrod Strait. This is the top side of the testing mountain course. The road from the cutting through the S's to the top of the strait is the real test for the racing driver. Even through these hazardous bends, drivers maintain an average speed of more than 70 miles an hour. After passing through the S's, the cars move down the sharp incline of 400 feet before they reach the nasty left-hand turn into Conrad Strait, where the elevated camera awaits the arrival of the first car. Mildren and Stillwell, with Mildren's Cooper Maserati capable of 170 miles an hour, then Austin Miller's Cooper, the Glass Maserati, and Bill Patterson's White Cooper Climax, all cars now reaching maximum speed down the straight stretch of road. Alec Mildren passes the flying quarter mile to enter the braking area. The modified Cooper Maserati is the fastest racing car in Australia, but Bib Stillwell is right on Mildren's heels in the 2.2 litre Cooper Climax. Miller 60, Glass 7, Patterson 9, third, fourth and fifth. Watch now as John Roxburgh misjudges the corner. Back on the course as Jack Myers takes the corner and the two leaders speed along pit straight to approach the left-hand turn at Hell Corner. 25 laps to go as Mildren and Stillwell move up Mountain Straight for the second time. At Murray's, Alwyn Rose turns in front of Merv Williams and Bill Reynolds. The Delro Jaguar, the TC and the Orlando MG enjoying a private race ahead of Noel Barnes. Reg Mulligan is another Murray's victim, but he's soon on the way again. Gordon Stewart comes next in front of Merv Ward, Bruce Maher and Bill Cook. Barry Collison is second last ahead of Philip Blue. Almost two miles away, the leaders are passing through the cutting. Patterson leaves the cutting as Mildred and Stillwell burn through the S's. It's a tremendous battle, and even in this second lap, the gap to the next car is widening. There's a pause of almost seven seconds before the arrival of Austin Miller's Cooper Climax. Two seconds then to Arnold Glass and Bill Patterson with Noel Hall and John Roxburgh completing the leading bunch. 
The perfect weather and good road surface are aiding drivers in their efforts to race at high speed. Already in the meeting, new sedan and sports car records have been created, and before this race is over, more records will be broken. There's no doubt that this is the fastest event ever held at Bathurst. Out in front, Alec Mildren is driving a calm, resourceful race, despite the nagging closeness of Stillwell, who set a new lap record at practice. Cars are pushed to the limit and Miller gives an indication of the furious pace. A secondary race develops between Hall, Scott and Roxburgh in the striped Cooper. Roxburgh is catching Scott as they travel along Mountain Strait, but main interest is centred in the cutting where the Mildren Stillwell duel is causing excited comment. Noel Hall is in sixth place and Roxburgh has passed Scott with car number three, Jack Myers, next. Meanwhile, the pacemakers are passing the S's for the third time. Behind the leaders, another performance is impressing keen judges. Arnold Glass is driving a great race against cars which are several miles an hour faster in the straight. Tactics in the braking area provide a sharp contrast. Mildren, calm and consistent, make sure of the corner, while Stillwell waits until the last second to try and make up ground. At Murray's, Hall and Roxburgh begin a neck and neck battle which is destined to last throughout the race. Three cars back, Ross Dalton in the big C-type Jaguar is in 11th place, almost three miles behind the leaders. Dalton is in front of Bill Reynolds and Alwyn Rose after three laps. On the fifth lap, the last cars have been passed and Mildred and Stillwell are level going past the cutting. Stillwell gets in front for a short period, but when they reach the S's, Mildred has regained the lead. Back in the cutting, Bill Patterson in fifth place overtakes Merv Ward, who is the last of 18 cars left in the race. So far, four cars have dropped out. In the S's, Arnold Glass is holding fourth place ahead of Patterson. Hall and Roxburgh are now a mile behind the pacemakers and cars are spread out all over the course. At the end of the sixth lap, Bib Stillwell is travelling at great speed in the braking area. Stillwell has been losing ground down the straight and he's making every effort to recover a precious second on Mildren at Murray's Corner. Arnold Glass is driving extremely well in fourth place behind Mildren, Stillwell and Miller. His handling of the bulky Maserati is first class because the big car is reputed to lack the cornering capacity of the Cooper Climax. Bib Stillwell gains a temporary advantage climbing the mountain. Behind Stillwell and Mildren, there's a long gap to Miller in third place, and a line of slower cars led by Alwyn Rose come next through the cutting. Philip Bloom has broken down in the cutting. The old Dixon Riley has a record, dating back almost 30 years, and its appearance on the Bathurst track with a going or stop is a great attraction for the motor racing public. Drivers meet a new hazard in the S's. The glaring sun is causing difficulty on the high side of the course. The afternoon is wearing on and this harsh light will impose a great strain on the drivers. The conditions, however, are not worrying the drivers. They welcome a fine day because the rain, sleet and fog of the last October meeting is still fresh in their minds. On that occasion, Stillwell finished first in the New South Wales Championship and Mildren filled third place. Here on the seventh lap of the Bathurst 100, Mildren heads Stillwell. 
Mildred and Stillwell take the corner together on what proves to be the last time on their even battle. Ross Dalton is pulling off the track as the leaders come round again. This time it's disaster for Stillwell. He slid on a patch of oil in the braking area and went headlong into the safety fence. The race continues as Stillwell moves out of the danger zone. Surprisingly, the car suffered little damage and Stillwell escaped uninjured. John Roxburgh in car 10 has passed Noel Hall to move into fifth place. Stillwell drops out of the race and Alec Mildren is now the undisputed leader. The race settles down for several laps with Alec Mildren in front and Austin Miller in car 60 in second place. Miller, driving the former Stan Jones Cooper Climax, will soon face a strong challenge from the 250F Maserati, driven by Arnold Glass. Fast car approaching, and Ross Dalton, now back in the race, makes way for Bill Patterson in fourth place. Alwyn Rose in car 28 has been lapped by Mildren, Miller, Glass and Patterson. Austin Miller is more than a minute behind Alec Mildren and his position of second place is being challenged by Arnold Glass who's starting to record faster lap times. While Glass in third place moves downhill from the mountaintop, Alec Mildren is entering the braking area near Murray's Corner. Mildren is giving a fine exhibition of skillful driving in this remarkable racing car. And although he has the race to himself, Miller and Glass behind him can't make up ground. Patterson is next and Roxburgh and Hall continue their battle for fifth place. Austin Miller, realising the challenge by Arnold Glass, takes Murray's at breakneck speed. Apart from this minor indiscretion, Miller is driving a sound race. For the next five laps, the order remains the same. More than half the race is over and the feature is the effort by Arnold Glass to catch the cars in front. Now the watchers at the cutting look for the first six cars. Number two, Alec Mildren in front. Number 60, Austin Miller second. Number seven, Arnold Glass third. Number nine, Bill Patterson in fourth place. And finally, to complete the six cars still in the same lap as Alec Mildren, number 10, John Roxburgh, and number 71, Noel Hall. Alec Mildren, seen here in his record-breaking run down Conrad Strait, was clocked through the flying quarter at 160.71 miles an hour. An amazing performance by the veteran Canberra driver, who's all out to win his first event on the Bathurst track. A long way back, Austin Miller is trying to increase his speed to hold off the persistent challenge of Arnold Glass, who's only 15 seconds behind as he appears in the cutting. Alec Mildren, with the course to himself, appears certain to break the race record set by New Zealander Ross Jensen last year. At present, Mildren is averaging 85 miles an hour round the course. Austin Miller is more careful on Murray's this time round and Jack Myers takes right of way on the inside. Myers, a lap behind Miller, is in seventh place. 15 seconds away, Arnold Glass is exceeding 140 miles an hour in his effort to catch Miller. Again, it's the leaders through the cutting as the race enters the final stages. Miller, Glass and Patterson are the only cars which have not been overtaken by Mildren with five laps to go. Anticipating the result, the camera follows Mildren on a lap of honour. The road ahead is clear of traffic and Mildren sends the high-powered Cooper Maserati round the mountain course at high speed. The 23rd lap, 
Austin Miller takes Murray's as Alwyn Rose spins. Miller ran off the track soon after, and Arnold Glass, who'd come up within three seconds of Miller, moves into second place. By the last lap, Arnold Glass is the only driver on the same circuit as the leader. A fine performance considering that Mildren was 18 miles an hour faster than Glass in the straight. Unlucky Austin Miller came back on the course to finish sixth behind the place getters, Hall and Roxburgh. The Bathurst 100 has reached the last of 26 laps. Only 13 cars remain as Alec Mildren comes down Conrod Strait with half a mile to go. Alec Mildren, driving the Cooper-bodied car powered by a 2.5-litre Maserati engine, crosses the line to win the race. Arnold Glass in second place is more than two minutes away. Arnold Glass fills second place, then a gap of five seconds to Bill Patterson's White Cooper. A smiling Alec Mildren has won his first major race at Bathurst, and Arnold Glass has won admiration for his gallant efforts. Main laurels go to the winner, Alec Mildren of Canberra.